Welcome back to Inside the Heat. After two national championships, Shabazz Napier achieved an even more meaningful goal to him when he graduated on time from the University of Connecticut. He did leave a legacy of clutch play and leadership at UConn that will long be remembered, but now it was time for the next chapter in his life and career as his NBA dream was about to be realized. Napier entered the 2014 NBA draft as a respected floor general and was expected to be selected in the first round. Holding the 26th pick in the draft, the Miami Heat knew what they needed to do to wind up with Shabazz Napier. So school is now done and time for the next step. How important was it for you to be an NBA player and take us back to draft night? I was, it was too important for me to be in the NBA just because that's what I dreamed of being on a draft night, being there just waiting for your name to be called and anticipating. That was more of a moment you just keep to your close to your heart. With the 24th pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Shabazz Napier from the University of Connecticut. Yeah, when I found out I got selected to go to Charlotte, like I grabbed my hat, you know, I kissed my mom, my sister, hugged my brother. But then when I went to go talk to Jay Williams and I heard I was getting traded, still to that point, I was like, what? Wow, like 15 seconds in, I'm already getting traded. Hey, welcome to the business. Well, Shabazz, I guess you can take that Charlotte Hornets hat off. Word just came across that so you got traded to the Miami Heat. When it all came down and realized where I was going, I was just like, man, wow. I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I could not believe I was going to Miami Heat. What do you remember about coming to Miami now as, as the Heat's first round pick and your, your first press conference with Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra? You know, when I first arrived there, it was quite different. I never really been to Miami ever. But when I, when I uh, stepped in front, of, you know, Coach Bo and um, Coach Riley. And I was just thanking them for the opportunity, you know, appreciate them giving me the opportunity to play for this organization. And when I was in front of, you know, the media, from just listening to what Coach Bo was saying, I just felt like they believed in me. That competitive spirit that Shabazz has shown uh, as a winner, a two-time champion, that was something that just absolutely jumped out. Those things, uh, I think, fit extremely well in our system and with our players. To be uh, in the position I am now, um, to be with the Heat organization, is just, you know, everything is so, you know, exciting. I'm ready to get everything started, ready to learn. A couple weeks later, you're in Summer League with the, with the Heat Summer League team in Orlando. What do you remember about your first sort of NBA experience? You know, uh, what I did was just look at those games, and then I just took the experience from it. Hey, great pace. For him, it's great to be in both Summer Leagues, to have a training camp, and to get all those repetitions of a point guard. Easy plays, easy plays. That's nice it. Play, nice nice play. easy play. That's the Shabazz Napier that the Miami Heat know that they're getting. Napier will try another three, and that one falls. Another good play by Shabazz. Napier. You're a really honest guy, and talking comes naturally to you, but you didn't say much before, during, or after your, your D-League experience. What was that experience like for you, and what did it do in a positive way for you to, to make you readier when you came back? You know, it, it gave me minutes to experience what I needed to. Napier down the lane. Nice finish with a finger roll off the window. It helped me out in ways of the experience where I wasn't getting on the NBA level. I felt like it was good to be on the court, you know, playing 28, 30 minutes and just trying to help the team win. Napier for three, stepping into it, yes. this transitional year of, of being a, a, not only a rookie in the NBA, but a rookie point guard, no less, with all that responsibility. What's this transitional year been like for you? You know, going through the things I've been through so far, it's a great experience to be able to uh, put this jersey on, to be playing for the great fans, to be able to play with the team, my teammates, my brothers, uh, and to just uh, continue to learn every day. Shabazz, three, shaboom! These guys understand I'm going to make mistakes, but they know I'm going to give everything I got. My role is trying to get them guys, you know, with the Wayne Warriors, the wild things, them guys the ball, and the right opportunities for them to score. Shabazz Napier sets up way down the runway. Got it, and the foul! You know, 
I'm just grateful that be a part of this organization with you know a group of guys that is continue to push me along. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. For Shabazz Napier, getting drafted by an NBA team really was a dream come true. And with some fierce competition at the point guard position for the Miami Heat, the rookie earned his opportunity to play off the bench early on. Then in mid-December, he spent some time in the D-League where bigger minutes helped acclimate him to the fast pace of the NBA. Following his short stint with the Sioux Falls Sky Force, the Heat's D-League affiliate, Napier returned to Miami and was now starting games and gaining more valuable on-the-job experience. While his role as a rookie continues to change, Shabazz remains steadfast and committed to doing whatever the Heat ask of him. It's been a whirlwind. Of course, you don't want your path to success to be so up and down, up and down, but that's that's how it is. I never try to put negatives into it because I understand there's a reason for it. Maybe that reason is not what you want at the time, but if you put your head down, strap your boots, and get to work, and um, kind of can change it. Napier from downtown. Shaboom! Three by Napier, and the youngster hits it from downtown. Napier, oh, he left famous in the dust. Napier has gotten his share of rookie treatment, but being a part of the Heat family means he has brothers he can count on. He has people that he can look up to that's won championships, has been to the finals, and, and know what it takes to get there. Every single person I can get a hold of, I just, you know, try to be a sponge. You try to learn as much as you can from anybody. What you, fellow rookie James Ennis, and young Hassan Whiteside are doing is giving Heat Nation hope, this next generation of Heat players. What's it been like for the three of you? Hassan coming in, he's creating havoc. Whiteside jam, Napier finds the big tower. Nice feet inside, Whiteside. I say this all the time to him, I don't, I don't understand how he's just so elusive. He might play a one-on-one -on -one and he'll do an in-and-out crossover, spin, dribble, and I'm like, man, how are you able to do that? You know, you're too big to be doing that, but, you know, he's just a freak of nature. Here come the Heat, other side, and it's jams at home. We got a Napier, snaps it ahead, look out below. There's that combination again. James, I've been with him since Summer League, and me and him created a bond, and he's just a great person of all as well. You know, he's just super talented, you know, athletic, you knock down shots, um, and he gives you a bundle of energy. Every single one of us is just gonna give everything we got. You know, uh, we understand our opportunities may not be large, sometimes they be small, but we're gonna give what we got. Good job, y'all. We're proud of y'all, Rook. Right now, we just, we're just glad we're on this team because we understand that this organization is a great organization. It's a hectic life in the NBA, but is uh, Shabazz getting a chance to enjoy some of, uh, some of what life has to offer here in Miami, Florida? Um, not yet. Not yet. She has not yet. You know, I've uh, I've been to the beach one time. You do a lot of basketball, you do a lot of practice, and do a lot of film work. So the biggest thing, like, I want to do is just rest. I'll probably do something after the season. I'll go to the beach, go on a boat. But as of right now, it's just trying to be the best point guard I could possibly be for this team right now. While Shabazz hasn't fully taken advantage of the city yet, he has immediately immersed himself in the Miami community. My side! You want to take a picture? Yeah. Oh, I won't bite, I swear. When I was younger, basketball stars, I wanted them to notice me. And I never thought I would be in a position to be for most roles. And it's just, it's a beautiful feeling to see um, younger kids that, that I inspire. Oh, you want a hug? <laughs> Yeah, I've always had this personal feeling that point guards, they're born, not made. You either are one or you're not one. And it's so obvious that you are one. Shabazz, great dish for the Birdman Jam. Where did all that come from? I played point guard all my life. I think he just came with experience. He has those skills that you just can't teach. You see him in the passes he makes, you know, and the way he's able to run the floor, that there is an ability to see the game. When you're with a bunch of guys that understand the game, you kind of know where they might go. How about Shabazz? He knew exactly where his teammate was. Got eyes behind his head. He's in a good position. He's a very confident kid. Um, you know, he's feisty. Very mature for his age. He's able to step in with us. He doesn't seem out of sync. Uh, he doesn't seem intimidated. He seems very confident. He's willing to learn. And that's all you can ask for in a young guy. Napier goes all the wins. Scoop up. Got it in 
foul. How about that by the rookie? How about the confidence Eric Spolster has shown in rookie point guard Shabazz Napier? We like Shabazz uh, because he's a champion. He's a two-time champion. That doesn't happen by accident. He's the, the type of player who plays his biggest at the biggest moments, and we, we love guys like that. Whatever opportunity I'm given, I'm just going to do my best. I hate losing. At the end of the day, I want to be the best team. You know, that's how I, I am. I don't, you know, I don't care for anything else besides the team I want to be the best team. As the Miami Heat makes a late season push to earn their seventh straight playoff appearance, Shabazz Napier continues to get more comfortable living in Miami and playing for the Heat. Napier is pure with his point guard mindset, his competitive nature, and he's eager and open to learning from his coaches and veteran teammates. A two-time champion at the collegiate level, Shabazz Napier's rise from Roxbury, Massachusetts to the NBA has truly been an amazing story. A story of overcoming obstacles and achieving success, and now the chance to do it all over again at the game's highest level. Thank you for enjoying this edition of Inside the Heat. I'm Eric Reed.